Have you ever tried Gruna Vedlina? Light hints of pear. The epicenter wine of Austria. Welcome to the next episode of Dickens with D. I am your host. I am Dietmar Ostermann, the regular guy from Long Island. Today, as we are enjoying another weekend of late, late, late summer, early fall, still sunshine in the air and uh, warm temperatures, I want to introduce to you something very special. And that is a light, late summer wine from Austria called Grüner Veltliner. So what I have in store for, day, for you today is three nice bottles. And Grüner Veltliner is the epicenter wine of Austria. It's the number one grape. You can recognize all the Austrian Grüner Veltliner bottles with the Austrian flag on top of the cork. They typically have the long neck bottles. And it's a light grape, light wine, maybe similar to a uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Typically dry, delicate citrus fruits, lemon, apple, sometimes oaked sometimes not oaked and typically has uh, just like a Sauvignon Blanc high acidity is a crisp wine light that's why you can easily enjoy it in the afternoon and uh, sit there overlooking the river or overlooking the bay and sit before dinner on a glass of beautiful light white wine now the uh, Grüner Veltliner grows in northwest Austria, about an hour, hour and a half northwest of Vienna in the so-called Wachau region. And that's where the uh, river, as we call it in German, Donau fl flows through, or Danube in, uh, in English. And by that river, on those uh, river uh, valleys is where the grapes are hanging. And it's a beautiful, very enjoyable wine, which most of my American viewers will have probably never tasted. And a lot of the German viewers will have drunk it a lot of times. I personally got introduced to the Grüner Veltliner while living and growing up in Germany and going skiing in Austria. And then typically at a night after skiing, we had a couple of uh, Grüner Veltliners for après ski. So let's get started. My first bottle right here, a beautiful Schlosskellerei Gobelsburg out of Kamptal. This is a 2019 Grüner Veltliner Schloss Gobelsburg, Kamptal, Austria. Okay, let's get going here. I have my friend to my right, Kokau. Kokau. Let's give it a try. Now, this uh, Schloss Gobelsburg is beautiful, light gold in color. Light, light, light gold. It's a pleasure to look into this wine. Beautiful color. Light in alcohol, I would think 12% or so. 12.5. Let's give it a Sniffy sniff. Very, very light hints of pear. Beautiful aromas. And now, let's give it a whirl. Fantastic on the palate. Some minerality, almost bubbles on the palate. Fruit explosion. The finish on the other hand, a little short. I would have wished the finish is longer. It's very enjoyable. I like it a lot. I give it uh, even more than a four, a 4.2 on Vivino. 
This wine sells for about $17 in America. 3.8 rated on Vivino. I give it a 4.2. Great wine. Okay. Number two. Riet Leutner Klostersatz Grüner Veltliner from the legendary winter Pichler Krutzler. Pichler Krutzler. This one is a 2017. The 2019s were not out yet. Also, light wine, 12.5% alcohol. Also has the Austrian flag on the top. Okay. Kokao! I'm pouring a little bit of my glass to shake it out so that I don't have the old wine in the glass. Let's give it a try here. Same tall skinny neck bottle. It's even an inch taller. The color identical. See-through, light, gold, beautiful color. Same alcohol content, therefore same little lines. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Green apple, a little bit of citrus. I like the aroma of the first wine, the Global Sport better. Let's give it a whirl. Very pleasant. Um, much more body, a little bit bitter, not as much fruit on the palate. The finish also is medium to short. I have to say I like the Schloss uh, Goebbelsburg much better. This one I give a 3.5. 3.5. Now this one I bought for $26, so $9 more, not as good. Um, Vivina rates it 3.8, I read it rated 3.5. Third contestant, also from Wachau, the Weißkirchen Federspiel. Federspiel is a feather, playing with a feather. Weißkirchen Grüner Berliner 2019. Let's try this one. Kokao! Here we go. Color identical. Beautiful, light gold color. Nothing to complain. This one also 12.5% alcohol. All of them the same 12.5%. Sniffy sniff. But a very elegant, rich aroma. Almost a little bit peach in here. Definitely green apple, peach, some lemon. Interesting aromas. I'm very, very, very uh, excited now to have that on the palate and see how it tastes there. Give it a whirl. Much longer finish. A little bit of a um, sourness, but, but good sourness on the palate. More like grapes, obviously white grapes. A little bit of uh, green apple in here, fresh. And you can, you know, the acidity in all of those wines are very, very fresh because of the acidity. Very good wine too. I give it a 3.9. Uh, Vivino gives it a 3.7 today, popular vote. This wine only $10, $17, $26, $10, and I like the $26 bottle the least. My rating is like this, 4.5 right here, 3.9 right here, 3.5 right here. Get this, try to get the Schlosskellerei Gobelsburg from Kamtal in the Wachau 2019. It's a great wine. And hopefully, for some of you, I've torn down the barriers to try out some new whites, 
not just drink Chardonnay, not just drink uh, Sauvignon Blanc, not just drink German Riesling, drink the Grüner Wedlina from Austria and you will not uh, regret it. With that, I am again back next Sunday. In the meantime, subscribe and like this video and give me a nice comment about have you ever tried Grüner Wedlina? Until next time.